Good morning, welcome back for another video. The time is now quarter to six in the morning, 5 a.m. start. Connected up to the trailer already. Straps are on for the internal and vehicle checks have been done. And as you might be able to tell, I've got some nice new shiny lights up there. Bought some LED lights off Amazon, about six pounds or something, well worth it because Look how much brighter it is in the cab. And for today, I'm going down to Daventry, which is 124 miles away, two and a half hours, and we're due to get there for half past eight. It's a 10 o'clock plug in, but I reckon because of Birmingham, it's gonna be about half past nine, we'll arrive there, which is not bad timing, to be fair. <laughs> Time is now 8 o'clock, just coming up to Birmingham. Let's go through the first part of Birmingham, shall I say. And they've got two lanes closed. No, actually, no, three lanes closed out of the four. Going, actually, how many lanes is the on the other side? One, two. No, so yes, there's two out of three lanes closed on the northbound section. And they've got the red X's up for an example where this 50 marker is now. And on the left hand side, there's a camera, which I thought was only for speed. And when I was driving past it all, I could see it flashing like crazy. I was thinking, why is that flashing so many people? And then I looked in the mirror and I seen the, the two red X's and it's been flashing everybody what were in the lanes, what are closed. So I didn't know that was a thing. So like you say, you shouldn't be in them lanes anyway, because you've got red X in lane closure, always avoid it. But just be aware, you can get flashed by them cameras on the side of the road as well. Because that's a new one for me. I just sat there watching this going bang, bang, bang. I was like, there's nobody speeding over there, surely. What's the speed limit set at? So I look behind and then you see the big red X getting everybody. <laughs> I'll start to come up to a little bit of traffic. So far, the traffic's been really good this morning. Not really had any issues. So we're driving two and a bit hours. The weather looks really nice as well. Starting to get a little bit lighter in the mornings, I've noticed as well, which is a really good sign that spring is around the corner. Roll on summer. Nice warm weather, can't wait for it. It's just going down to 40. And we'll try to jump in the middle lane. Just so I can be prepared to move to the right hand side when the road split. Yeah, it looks like it's slowing down a little bit. I'll come into a stop. I think I've just jinxed myself about traffic. Hopefully it's not an accident. It's just a bit of congestion. I see one red X there, but that's just for the hard shoulder, I believe. Yeah. Well, that's me for a little bit. A bit of traffic. Arrived there with Daventry for half past nine, inside the yard now. Now the first thing I need to do before booking in, I just need to undo all of these buckles and then all the internal straps. I need to get them all together and put them at the back of the trailer so they don't get damaged. And then, because it's a back door tip, the straps are not getting caught on the pallets then when they're unloading. Straps are all done, time to get booked in. I've got to say, this is pretty much nearly t-shirt weather. Look how nice it is, not a cloud in sight. Real nice and warm, but it's a little bit chilly still. Nice and easy. Straight onto a bay. Now the only problem is with these bays that we're going on, there's no markings on the floor and there's no like yellow barriers either to say that where the bays are. So what you need to do with this situation, as you see on the floor, is try to follow where the previous markings are where tyres have been already. So I'm just looking for the tyre tread basically on the floor. He 
it's just a little bit lighter shade on the concrete where the tyres have previously been. All right, actually. Straighten up a little bit. There we go. Jobs are good in. Time is now quarter to eleven. Just leaving Daventry. Wasn't too bad on the bay. Only about. 35 minutes give or take on the actual bay itself so that's all good I've got two collections on the way back in uh, the first one's over at Winsford Industry Estate on Road 1 and because it's sat nav it's 101 miles away and two hours drive looking to get there for about 10 to 1 in the meantime though I'm going to have to take a break so I'll take a 45 minute break so that'll cover my working time as well as my driving time directives. I'll probably pull over one of the services on the way up. But at the moment, yeah, really nice weather. Holding up at the moment, traffic's not been too bad. I've got a scrap van in front of me though, a few cars up front, and yeah, it's 60 mile an hour road doing 34. Hey. <laughs> There's always one Sunday driver, isn't there? But I'm not in a rush, so it's all good. I don't think the time to collections where I'm at as well. Hopefully it won't be too late to finish today. It'll be a Friday, but I'll try and get a nice early start for the weekend. Uh, I do hope you had a great weekend as well. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe, as always. If you've got any questions about HGV driving or anything about the vlogs that I do, let me know down below in comments. And I'll try and answer as much as I can. And again, just a big thank you for everybody who watches these videos. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad you're enjoying them as well. So, yeah, thank you. Just stopped off for a quick break over at the services. And I've just seen this Scania. And I've got to say, it's a nice colour scheme that they've done for it. I mean, it's not everybody's choice of colours. But what do you think? Like I say, it's not everybody's choice. But I quite like it. It stands out a bit. Time is now half past 12. And coming through Birmingham on the M6 just by this spaghetti junction area and uh, it's pretty much just been stop start for the last mile and a half or so hopefully it'll pick back up in a second and get past this little bit not too sure what's causing the, the backlog But all this area was closed a bit this morning and it was down to one lane so hopefully it's all back up and running now. About an hour and a half or so, maybe two hours until we get to the first destination for the collection. Um, I've got a few collections now thrown onto me. I think it's four altogether. But they're not too far away from each other. First one's now in Congleton, so I'm making my way towards there now. That police car on the other side. So that's rain even heavier now. It has been raining for some time. There's quite a few big puddles around here. Glad I got the waterproof swimmer, that's for sure. I don't know what's worse, high winds or heavy rain. <laughs> it's bad when they're cannot this combination of both fly out, but it's just miserable, isn't it, when it's like this? Road land in summertime. I need it. <laughs> Give my right arm tan sticking out the window.
driving in it is one thing, getting out and doing the curtains and all the buckles, that's a completely different issue. Oh, I'm not looking forward to stopping. Sat nap, not taking the third exit, and going towards Congleton. So that's why the traffic's been pretty bad around here. Looks like the car's hit somewhat. I don't know what they hit. Well, I can't move the car out of the way. <laughs> I thought it was the policeman's gone like head head on there with the other car, but it wasn't no damage on the police car. It's a little bit of a tight left here, this turn, so I need to take a little bit of the right hand side road. So I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit. She got all these bollards on the left hand side, so you need to be careful with them ones. Swing out, keep the indicator on the left. A hard turn. There we go. This is where I need my head out the window. Make sure I don't go off the bridge. So I'm pretty much going right to it. A little bit of a left. Once done it a few times, it's not too bad. So that's careful the headboard. Doesn't knock the building. And then the passenger side as well, make sure the wheels are cut the corner and get knocked in the barrier. Gems are good, isn't it? what you want on a Friday evening <laughs> M6 now just coming up to the limb services I've got 45 minutes left on my driving time so I should make it back however if I can't make it back I will have to have an infringement for going over my driving time um, the next safe location to stop after limb services is going to be the yard because it's just off the motorway services. So I'll get away with it with Volsa because it isn't technically a safe place to stop, which is like the legal requirement for you. Um, and yeah, I've got 45 minutes left. Normally it will take you 15 minutes on a clear day, maybe 20 minutes with a little bit of traffic. But the way it is at the moment, it's looking a little bit hit and miss. Um, I will be able to extend it after a break though for an hour but hopefully I should be back at the yard before that runs out. So fingers crossed I can make it back all right. Um, it's just absolutely horrendous at the moment. The M6 up here, it's really, really bad. So hopefully it picks up again and then I can get back within 40 minutes. Fingers crossed. Look about courting it close. Two minutes of driving time left. Woohoo! Uh, I was I was confident I was going to make it. I was confident. <laughs> the time is now 5.30 and I'm just waiting to get into the yard next. So it should be done by 6 o'clock. Drop the trailer, get out of here, home for half six. Leanne's not feeling too good at the moment. She's got a bit of a migraine. So I'm going to go home, look after her, look after the little man. And yeah, have some family time over the weekend. Can't wait, honestly. I'm just going to chill out, put my feet up.
So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like, comment and subscribe as always. And I'll see you again next time. Take care of yourself. Have a great week. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.